Ladies and gentlemen, we are live on air, Tanya Innovations Africa platform. I hope everybody is well. I know we have listeners in the United States. We have listeners in Europe. We have listeners on the African continent, but in particular in Uganda. We welcome you all to this show tonight. And as we had communicated earlier, we have a very resourceful global expert in cybersecurity, but also in business networks. And it's for that reason that we are going to have this show tonight in Africa. But of course, it's morning back in Canada where he comes from. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be aware that this platform of Tanya Innovations Africa in conjunction with Business Life Global, was started with the intent of making sure that our viewers, our listeners, people who don't have the capacity to interact with investors or who can manage to, uh, to collaborate in those high forums can have a chance to directly talk to the investors and also to showcase what they have. Today, the host, Amaganda Evans Tabingwa, the CEO of Tanya Innovations Africa, and also who doubles as the head of Africa Business Live Global. I would like to introduce my guest tonight, and I'll give him a chance to talk about himself. Uh, he has a very rich CV. Um, this is none other than Mr. James Casso, who happens to be the chairman of Cyber Security Global Alliance worldwide, and who also doubles as the board chairperson of Business Live Global. So if I may use very brief terms, he's actually my boss, and I'm working with him in this partnership uh, to make things change. On that note, Mr. James Castle, you are very welcome to this platform as you are going to speak to Africans, young, old, business, those who are in startups this evening, which I think is your morning back in Canada. Could you please greet our viewers and introduce yourself, Mr. James Castle?
networking and communications, which we are going to guide for years to come. Even more recently, I met Magenda, uh, principal of Tanya Innovations. Maganda has taken the lead to develop BLG in Africa, starting with Uganda, which is now building a new chapter in business operations, networking and business growth, including investments. Today is a new day, folks, and we have now just begun. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, James, uh, for that elaborate introduction. I would just also to, um, uh, like to be sure that uh, our viewers can now get the volume very clearly. But I thank you very much for the introduction. I would like to acknowledge uh, members of staff from Cavendish University, led by Professor Mugisha, uh, who are online. Uh, Professor Mugisha is my immediate boss back in Uganda. So you are very welcome to the platform, Professor Mugisha. So, um, Mr. Castle, I see you with a very rich CV in relation to cybersecurity, and I have seen you come on board to uh, Business Live Global. What is this partnership about between uh, cybersecurity uh, global alliance, which you had, Business Life Global, which is an idea and baby child of Madame Victoria Bell, whom we cherish so much, and the Tanya Innovations, which you're believing to do the work on the African continent. So um, how, how is this partnership unfolding to be able to fulfill the vision that you have uh, for, for the African continent? Maganda, that's a great question. I'd be happy to uh, fill in the blanks. The Business Live Global and Cybersecurity Global Lines partnership was originally developed to provide a systematic approach to helping businesses and organizations around the world that participate with Business Live Global to also become aware through a toolkit of cyber technologies and information and to expand business opportunity with a new toolkit designed for businesses and people globally. Tanya Innovations is a new organization that has a great pathway before them. And Maganda, I, I wanna say it is being led by you uh, who is hosting this fabulous event and I consider you my friend rather than an employee by any means. <laughs> The partnership between Tanya Innovations and BLG and CSGA has only begun. And through Tanya's innovations, growth and maturity, uh, we together will guide and develop new pathways and horizons to aid in the growth of economic stability within African countries, help build new services in cyber and data protection that will help FinTech and other prime business centers uh, and in securing investments for African businesses to bring new services, education, and opportunities, all starting right there in Uganda. Okay. Wow. Um, thank you, um, uh, Mr. James Castle, uh, for being able to talk about the partnership. Now, um, at this point, could you be able to give us a brief analysis about uh, cyber security globally from your experience and uh, some of those areas that you think um, African companies, governments uh, could be able to partner with you uh, to cause change. And like I've told you before, I am a lecturer of uh, information technology uh, at Cavendish University. I've also been heading uh, e-learning department. I'm particularly interested to, to see how your programs of cybersecurity and many other projects that you are having, how they could be scaled down uh, on the African continent, or still for the benefits of other businesses 
or entrepreneurs who are listening to this program tonight? I would be more than happy to doing that as well. I, I guess really, if we're going to be focusing, talking about how CSGA and Business Life Global can assist Africa, uh, their governments, universities, businesses, youth industry, and so on, uh, I would really like to visit what our vision is within CSGA and then moving on from there. The Cybersecurity Global Alliance is an international leader in research, advocacy, developing and lobbying policy and industry needs on cybersecurity and cyber attacks. The CSGA assembles strong, innovative, multidisciplinary teams to address contemporary and future cybersecurity and legal challenges faced by government, industry, and individuals. Our board members and general members become leaders in government, business, and in their communities globally. What this means overall is that we try to focus our efforts in working with organizations to challenge what is currently in our society. Right now, we hear in the news all over the globe, Canada, US, South America, Europe, Asia, of cyber attacks, ransomware attacks, zero day attacks, and the list pretty much goes on and on and on. And as we look at this, we need to start creating solutions. All we are seeing right now are what we call black hats or threat actors attacking various installations in order to fill their coffers in a collapse in economy due to the pandemic. We need to change this. We need to come together. We need to work as one and start showing the world that we speak as one voice. Now, this can be done. Uh, it is the intention of Cybersecurity Global Alliance and the Terra Nova Defense Group uh, through Business Live Global to aid Africa through the Business Live Global relationship to increase global development and its investment of its own uh, services, such as in developing a cyber hub, for example, or in building a business collaboration center that will allow Uganda to come together and focus on global developments that will save many things within its country, its education system, its training institutions, its universities, its banks, and that list continues to go on. Um, I'm, I'm also very pleased to state that we uh, will be engaged in mentoring people uh, already, and we have already selected our first candidacy and have accepted a person to mentor that is a member of your own group of BLG Africa. Uh, you will know him as the founder and president of the Incredible Youth International in Uganda, uh, James, and I might say his name incorrectly, which I've done twice before. Nick what? 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 Uh, James. I was what, close. What? I was close. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I've had a couple of meetings with James, and mind you, that the name's going to be wickedly easy to remember. He is a really amazing person that I hope to mentor and direct in helping work with you and Tanya Innovations and your business ventures to bring together what the world needs right now. We need unity. We need the ability to communicate. And outside of the services that we provide to Business Live Global, Victoria has been the connector of dots for a long time. And I am so proud of her accomplishments in Africa as we start to develop the world in unity and creating the change that is required to protect our needs, our citizens, our families, our assets. And I am very proud to be the chairman of this organization to provide this oversight while we work with great people like yourself. Um, wow. I think I can say that is, uh, th th that's a great way to introduce and dive into the matter. Um, I have seen Victoria Bell saying this is very fabulous. Uh, we want to thank you, Victoria. And I want to acknowledge the network from the UK, 
uh, which is on this show. I also want to acknowledge the no network from Canada, I think, which is out of the efforts of um, James, and we really value you. We have three members of parliament uh, who are on, on this, and I want to thank you. Um, and then Ambassador Zake of Abu Dhabi, we thank you so much. I can see the INAIFE in Ubusoga, that's part of um, the local association where I belong. I can see you tuned in. We want to thank you so much. Uh, now, James, it appears that we have uh, quite a broad collection of listeners. We are seeing honorable members of parliament. We are seeing an ambassador. We are seeing um, leaders of higher uh, institutions, like my professor from Cavendish University. We can also see uh, communities, I mean people from local communities where we come from. The question now comes, or what most of them are trying to listen to is, what is this in BLG, or Business Life Global, that we should be able to convince different businesses, different members of the community to join Business Live Global? Great question. And what I'd like to do is actually spin that a little bit to really identify for our listeners out there the benefits of partnership and development under Business Live Global, if I might. I think it is important to understand that Business Live Global will help businesses and governments to grow through communications, network, and in helping other businesses around the world to meet the current day challenges that we face, to aid in economic and regional growth, to expand current opportunities, and to look at other assets such as smart city developments, and to participate in any way that we can to help our new brothers and sisters here in Africa to become successful, as well as a well-driven society for all. And as I know that we have listeners from around the world, we are not just restricted to Africa or Canada or the United States or the <laughs> United Kingdom. We are here to help you. It doesn't matter where you are, what your capabilities are, we are prepared to make the distance. Business Live Global and Cybersecurity Global Alliance may not be the employment centers of uh, providing full-time employment. We are here to provide international and domestic organizations with services and the ability to operate and grow themselves in order to offer the areas of employment, development, uh, social freedoms, and being able to say at the end of the day, hey, I got this job, I can now help my family. That is a big key word, especially coming around seasons, greetings, and many of the other holidays that we face every year. Business Live Global was designed and developed to create new business opportunities for all who attend. People who are prepared to work with the team and share in global resources. Now, Tanya Innovations is now BLG Africa. And, is, and as any partner of BLG, it is the responsibility of every partner or global BLG firm to best represent BLG in the best possible way and serve the greater good of the organization and the country it serves as a whole. Each partner must hold to the standards, policies, and procedures, understanding that their services have a specific code of conduct that will best serve our members and partners globally. We are proud to be working with Tanya Innovations as we set and lead by example as a new branch partner working in Uganda for us. And together as a family, I can honestly say I am honored to be working with you, Maganda, and looking forward to a very bright and successful future for the world around us. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, 
Mr. Castle, uh, I must say those are very heavy statements still. And uh, we want to appreciate the great work uh, that we have just started to see around the globe. Um, now, uh, this might not be a very comfortable question, but I'll ask you in the interest of uh, the perception many Africans have. Um, sometimes I have seen politicians in Africa, I have seen very many people uh, making arguments that um, any support that comes from Europe or from the US or from the first world only dictates what people should do instead of looking and appreciating the challenges that uh, uh, you know the local team has identified. I have heard you talk with passion, respect for individual companies, CEOs. Would you want to tell the audience, just for clarity purpose, the different approach that BLG, uh, Business Life Global, and uh, Cybersecurity Global Alliance is using to respect the initiatives that we have locally and also to be able to support our initiatives rather than dictating what we should be able to do? Well, excellent question. I think that could be broken down in about four or five parts. Uh, but let's, let's start now and let's off one at a time. In regards to politicians and positions on the way that the governance currently works globally, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of reason to be concerned about what can or what may happen based on political uh, gain or financial gain or other issues that may or may not uh, play in the significance of making change thing is at some point somebody has to stand up and speak for the people by the people and make it really clear that you are not alone that we can stand together and bring change the nice thing that really brought the Cybersecurity global lines together with business live global came from the way our organizations were structured Victoria has created an infrastructure that if modified correctly could become one of the largest in the world that I can see over the next decade. Now, in order to get there, we need to make sure that our clients, our services, uh, the people they represent are well aware of what it takes in order to do proper business, working with good protections, making sure that their assets are safe, getting out there and giving people the right information is key when it comes to creating what we need in order to advance. I cannot speak for all of the governments, but I can tell you this, the Cybersecurity Global Alliance has its own in-house uh, legal team of British barristers that are working with our organization to engage lawmakers to develop key legislation changes that can help put an end to ransomware, put an end to zero day attacks, put an end to cyber threat, put an end to cyber stalking, put an end to all of the damages that are being done online. And you know what? The people that step up to the plate are not going to be the people praised will be the first ones to be attacked. And the reason why somebody needs to step up to the plate is easy. There are a lot of good people out there in the world today that are being hurt through social, social interaction and social attacks. And somebody needs to step up for them. Somebody needs to work with them. And the best way we can do that is as a nonprofit but by spreading the word and developing the communications that are required, BLG, through Victoria, and now through yourself, it's going to be critical that we spread the right message so people can feel confident 
about the decisions they make and know that they do not have to be terrified of every single moment around them. Let's start building together. Let's put the fear where it belongs and throw it in the trash. It's okay to be cautious. It is okay to be aware. But take the right information and work with the right people. Is our tasking going to be easy? No. Will we back down? Not going to happen. And as long as I'm chairman for Business Live Global, we are going to not only work with our members and our branches, such as your own, but in order to establish this global, we have a lot of work to do and we need real people to work on real problems. And this is the beginning, folks. This is where it is. And I believe in my heart and soul and God willing, uh, the entire future lays right here. 2022 is going to be the start of something great. And we are all here because if you weren't interested to make these guides, these steps, you would not be here right now listening to me and to this presentation being done by Makanda. I hope that answers your question. And if it doesn't, please feel free. No, to it, no it does I'm very well. I, I just thought that, you know, sometimes I keep on explaining things to uh, new members. I keep on explaining what we stand for and especially the passion Victoria always uh, repeats. Uh, she usually says that if we are waiting for somebody else to determine uh, the change that we want to have, then we, we cannot have a better person or a better group like, you know, like the business agents. Yeah. So and it's for that reason that we all have to think of how to create solutions, uh, you know, business solutions to society problems. And I think um, I thank you so much uh, for making that very clear. Uh, but what has made my day firm is when you talk about God, that first of all destabilizes me, but then it makes me feel great. So um, thank you so much for those submissions. I would like to, during your submission, you talked about the mentorship uh, that you're intending to give to um, Brian Twatwa. That is international, incredible. I think it's international. It is. Incredible yep. youth. Yeah? Okay. Yes, yeah. it is. Um, I have known Brian to be one of the most refined young men in this country uh right now i think he's uh he's been appointed to be a honorary consul of a uh, consul of, of a country in europe and he has done commendable job he has a network of over three point something million youth all over the world um he has come on business live global in less than i, th I think it's less than a month but I think you have been able to identify the talent and be able to make an addition. You are talking about a cyber school. Cyber security is very yes. expensive to teach. Uh, the last time I was engaging other partners, they were costing between $2,000 and $2,500. Now, I would like you to go a little bit further and give us a picture of what type of school that you want to put in place. And for other listeners, I'm sure my vice chancellor, uh, Professor Mugisha, is listening right now. He will be ready to, 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 to invite such initiatives. The cyber school you want to put in place is it only going to be mentorship uh, with that particular organization? Or for the listeners who are online today, could be able to come on board uh, and, and, and find ways of how we can make this span throughout the country? What is your vision in this direction? What type of school are you planning to put in place? And what areas are you looking 
uh, to do the training and engage in? Excellent questions. I think, uh, again, down to two points. So let's talk about the hub. And then we'll move into the mentorship program, which will fall under the hub. And that should cover off exactly what you're asking. Our proposal for developing uh, this really falls to proposing to open in partnership with universities, corporations, and through the Business Lab Global is to developing a digital smart center that will engage cyber hub opportunities within any city or country anywhere in the world. This will range for providing services to companies, businesses, governments, and other areas where may not be identified in the discussion that we're having. Uh, as technology advances and new concepts and capabilities emerge worldwide, it is important that Africa becomes a leader in the strategic integration of innovation and effective cybersecurity solutions. This can range from national infrastructure into defense, protecting the sovereignty of Africa, protecting its wonders that the world sees and has learned through history, through time, and it, regardless of the life or the wars or the issues or the political, everyone has these issues all over the world. We are all one family on this big, beautiful earth. The CSGA cyber hub that we are considering to helping Africa to build has been planned to meet the threat head on with utilizing a state-of-the-art smart facility with access to meet spaces to classroom, to innovation and research labs that will create a new quantum resilient encryption manufacturing center. Now, there's been a lot of hype worldwide about what quantum resilient encryption is. Can it be manufactured? And in a perfect world, I will tell you plain and simple that quantum resilient encryption has been built. It has been done by a Canadian corporation and it puts an end to ransomware. Now, as we develop out the software aspects of this, we look at our partners to identify key things that will really save our lives, save our business, save the challenges that we face. You know, the world is a small planet.